All right, so we have some news. Are you excited? I'm excited. 2018 battle plan. Now, from what I've read on this already, it seems like it's an outline of things that they want to do towards the end of the year. So this is a little bit like a sneak peek, but not really a sneak peek because they barely tell you anything. But I will show you. Okay. They obviously talk about um, tactical weapon attachments and the new premium box. They're the stuff that they added this month. Next month, they're going to be hired by the German government to investigate the mysterious deaths of several KSK agents. Armed with a host of experimental weaponry. Could be new weapons. We will see. Grave divisions. Travis Halo jumps into the field to confront an enemy that cannot be destroyed conventionally. Huh. So this is basically telling us we're going to get some form of German themed event. Um, and we're going to get some experimental weaponry. Now, what that experimental weaponry will be, I have no fucking idea. November... Facing a slump in recruit performance metrics, Blackshot has tasked Kathy Fitzpatrick to overhaul their training system in order to produce deadlier soldiers. Hmm. This could be... This could be potentially, by the way, potentially. This is my opinion. This is not factual. This could be a new weapon mastery style system. This could be. I'm not saying that it definitely is, but I'm saying this could be. Because if you understand here, they're saying that they're tasking Kathy Fitzpatrick, Fitzpatrick to overhaul their training system. Okay, now that originally sounds like it means just the fucking, um, that beginner training room, right? But it says in order to produce deadlier soldiers. Now, if you think about it, if you train with a weapon, you become a deadlier soldier. I am not saying this is guaranteed. So, you know, if you want to flame me if this doesn't happen, cool. But I'm saying there is a possibility in November we will get a new weapon mastery system. If that happens... Thank fucking God. But again, we will need to see that. Let's pop back to the previous page. Check these patch notes. I don't think there was too much, really. Quick patch. So as you can see, I have a few comments to make on this, okay? I'm going to jump in with the positive first, then I'm going to hit up with the negative. Like I said in my previous gacha box opening, the ultra box, the items that you acquire from the ultra box, you are able to repair for gold. And what they have done is they have moved the premium box weapons and they have added them into the ultra plus box so this means that the awp specter the mdr the fmg blah 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 blah. you can see the list here guys this means all of these weapons now you can get in the ultra box and you can repair them just for gold fantastic fantastic now why am i going to be annoyed at this well the the truth of the matter is this if we see the system that they have done right now and the fact that they have added these into the ultra box, we can suspect and we can sort of predict that in the future, the weapons that originally are in the premium box, they will then add into the ultra box and then add new weapons into the premium box. If they've done this now, they may well use this very same system again. Now, I am upset for one reason, because I got limited time weapons 
that now I could get. Instead, I could get inside this box and they would never run out. So they have literally scammed people into buying the premium box for those weapons. And then they've said, oh, now we're going to make them uh, permanent. Now you can get them permanent when you've already got them for limited time. Ha ha ha. Now I'm going to go into the game and I'm going to activate my AWP Spectre. And I'm going to see if I can repair that weapon with gold. If I can, then great. If I can't, then that sucks dick. The premium box has been updated. The only way that I can describe this premium box is it is the Omega premium box. It's the Omega LOL premium box. Because again, as usual, it has scopes and silencers stuck inside it. It has weapon effects inside it, which is a fucking joke. And then you get a load of stuff here, as you can see. Desert Eagle Legion, fantastic. I love that pistol. You get some BAMF edges, as you can see. Two HK416s, the Leopard and the Omega, and the MSR Omega. Oktoberfest. Now, this is going to probably be, as you can see, it's going to probably be 300%. Uh, yeah, there we go. 22nd and the 23rd of September, you are going to get 300% experience and gold. So that is in the next couple of days. That's going to be pretty good if you want to farm ranks. It's also going to be awesome for farming gold because, as you know, gold is running out pretty dry for most people. If you're free to play, your gold's running pretty low. So this is very helpful. Um, and, you know, I can only hope that this is something they do quite regular to try and help free players. So if I enter the game right now. And I go into my loadout. I'm going to activate my uh, sniper, as you can see here. Cannot repair day-based items. So as you can see, the item was a day-based item. Um, and it was unused. And now I have just equipped the item and it says I have two hours left on the item. By the way, two hours left and I can't repair it. Yeah, I'll leave it there. Enjoy, guys. I will leave it right there. That is Blackshot for you.